So one thing I haven't tried to master duel yet has been all the event duels, which has been kind of like a selling point of the game. The whole point of these, I guess, special modes is so you don't deal with the same BS that you normally deal with in rank. They had the XDs festival when the game first came out. They had synchros, which I completely avoided because that was around the time when they released Baron and all that stuff. And I felt like that was a nightmare. And now we got the fusion festival. And what I want to do here is, is normally you want to build the deck, but I saw that they had loner decks, which I didn't even know was a thing until literally this event, which I guess they did the same thing for the synchro and XD event. And I figured it'd be fun. What if I hop in blindly? I know what some of these cards do, and I know DP is in his deck, and I think they have DP in two. Yeah, they have two. Why is there two DPs in one deck? It's crazy. I'm going to hop in and do this completely blindly. I haven't read a single one of these cards. I mean, I know what Dasher and Celestial do, which I assume are in his deck as well. We got Celestial. I don't see Dasher. Oh, we, we do got Dasher. So let's see how this works out. But if you want to see me do more blind events like this in the future using the lower decks, then uh, hit the thumbs up in this video, and I guess let's see what we can do. Also, let me know what you're using for the Fusion Festival as well, if you are participating. Let's do this. Let's see how this goes. I have no idea what to expect. I, <laughs> I got to do some reading. But you know what? If this is anything like what I'm expecting it to be, all I got to do is just bring out DPE, and then I win. And I have two. I'm just going to bring bring out two. Ooh, we get to go first? Wait, why? Now, I know we don't have Preda plan, so it's going to be not as easy to bring them out. But I have something called... Luck stats, RNG, and this uh, fusion destiny in my hand is what I would have said if we had one. All right, well, I guess I get the reading. Let's see what we can do. We got D tactics. Uh, I guess I'll set that just because I didn't even read it. See, I'm already messing up. I'm not even reading. Give me a second to read, and then we'll do our first move. One minute, 37 seconds later. So do I want to bring out... Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So let's, let's do Ferris first. We'll do Ferris, and I guess to get rid of you. If I read this correctly, which I'm pretty sure I didn't, what do you have? Oh, Maxi, that's fine. If I read this correctly, I'll special summon this by discarding that over here. And then, sure, I guess. I don't know what the point of this is. <laughs> right there. And then if I summon you... Okay, so then we do... We send a card to my graveyard. Oh, I can send uh, Dasher. Yeah, let's send Dasher. I think Dasher in the graveyard would be a good one to have. Then I can activate this. Oh, but I'm gonna banish Dasher though. No, wait, wait, wait. We're gonna banish Diamond. I get Polly out now? And I can immediately go into DPE, right? Am I reading this correctly? <laughs> no. Oh, we actually don't get to go into DPE. Uh, I guess I didn't have the right. Again, this is the part of me not knowing, and this is kind of the thing you'll get with this. But I do have some options I can go for. Oh, so I need a Destiny hero. That's why. So I have a level six or higher, which is uh, Ferris. But because this is just a regular hero, you can't bring out DP. So DP is a lot more difficult to bring out in this situation. So I guess we'll just do... I guess I'll bring out Trinity? Let's do Trinity. All right, let's see what happens. So his attack is going to double here, which is going to be nice. But then they're still just going to be able to just kill me here. All right, I guess I am my turn now. Oh, then it goes down! It's for the rest of the turn! <laughs> Damn, I'm about to get cooked. I guess I'll do this now because I got to do this during the standby phase. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, use the effect now, I guess. Oh, it's a continuous trap. Never mind. I guess, uh, again, this is why this is going to be fun doing this blindly. I'm going to keep it real. I ha I have zero chance of winning this duel. Because <laughs> they are it also looks like they're using a regular deck. Because unless this is one of the options you could have done with... Well, I guess in this situation, I can just activate this. I might as well, since I'm about to lose. So I'll wait for them to go into battle phase. I can't be targeted. Yeah, this can't be targeted. So, basically... Hmm. And they get to do another fusion? Oh, boy. This is going just about how I thought it was going to go. <laughs> okay, now we got Foolish Burial Goods. I mean, whoever I'm dueling against is a Platinum person. Also, I like that art. What is what, what is that art? What is that uh, icon? Let me know down below. Oh, I just feel like Leo Dancer is going to be a problem. Is there, is there a hero card I have in my deck where if I summon, I just win? <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about to blindly activate this effect here in a second to see if I can just do something with it. Another... God, what kind of hand did they get? I'm going to go ahead and assume that they got full combo here. Also, if you have been playing with the loner decks, how viable oh, no. actually are they? Of course they got Super Polly in the hand too! Are you kidding me? Well, uh, that was uh, pretty cheap in my opinion, but it is what it is. 
so I'm gonna go ahead and point out that I'm about to take a lot of damage. I do a lot of damage here, because 3,500. And I got probably one more, but I can survive. No, I can't survive it! Okay, but like that first duel was all just a, a practice duel. This is the for realsy one. Because look, we won the coin toss. We won the coin toss last time, didn't we? No, they let me go first. That's right. So this is all going to be uphill from here. You know, I realized my mistakes in not knowing my deck or what's even in my deck. Comment section below. You can also tell me what I could have done better in that situation. But you know what? We're going to win this time. Watch this. T Trust me on this. I'm going to do destiny draw. And I guess I'll drop malicious because you can banish malicious to special summon malicious from my deck. Yeah, that sounds like a good. That sounds like a good deal. We're gonna do that. Okay, nice. We're gonna go ahead and banish him right now, so we can get that death. Wait a minute, that's a destiny hero. So that's gonna be great. So we got already one piece of the puzzle here. Oh wait, I can get that card uh, that that I used last time to get DPE out. What was it? I already forgot. Was it was it this? Yes, it was this. When this guy's normal special summoned, you can set one hero monster from deck to the graveyard, and then yada yada yada, and add. Pop. Yeah, that, this is what we want. So we got Destiny Hero this time. We got a bit regular hero. Let's do this. I guess we'll send... Should we send Dasher again? All right. So we're going to go right into... I mean, all I can really do is just this. Let's go right into DP this time. Where's my boy at? There he is. This is what I'm talking about. Let's do... We're going to do you first because we have to. I guess we'll send Celestial away. Because if we have Celestial in my graveyard, I can actually draw when my hand is empty. So that's actually good. Let's go ahead and drop this. Technically, next turn could do it. That's my turn. Let's see what happens. Let's go. We, we got this, right? DP is like all you need to win. I think. <laughs> I will say, going in completely blindly something I always wanted to do. I just don't want to do it on ranked. Unless I hit like Platinum 5, which case then you can kind of practice because it doesn't really matter. Being able to do this in a Fusion Destiny, or Fusion Destiny, but the, the Fusion Event, Fusion Destiny is the card I want to play, makes this so much more fun. So... So yeah, let's see how this goes. What we got, what we got, what we got. Joker straight. This is not bad, actually. I'm going to actually banish King's Knight. Because I know King's Knight is the one that you always want to stop the effect for. So I'm going to do that right now, actually. Summon your King's Knight. I've dueled this deck so many times, I know what to do against it. Watch me get absolutely just washed. Perfect. And because you're a fool, not today. Let's go ahead and just banish that one so you can't get the effect. This is, the, this is the kind of duels that we love to see sometimes. There you go. Okay, so that's negated now. So they don't get that effect. And the second they summon something out of this, which they they have a lot of options that they can, they can do here. Two level fours. Although, I could be annoying right now and just pop my effect. Ooh, why are we putting that face down? And phase. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and pop this right now. I don't know why they did that. Let's pop you, and let's pop that. Don't tell me you have a call by the grave in your hand. Oh, Mound and a Bound! So this is a Slifer deck? Oh, it is, because they have two uh, Egyptian God Slimes here. That is so smart. This is actually a very smart deck to run in a Fusion event. Ooh, Sphere Mode. Okay, so I got to be careful. It's not a Slifer deck. It's a raw deck. I got to be careful here. So first, first things first, uh, let's bring out my boy. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? Ooh, you know what? Can we get a second one? I assume I can bring out another one of the cards that lets me grab. No, we can't. No, we can't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Watch this. 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 My brain is, is large. My brain is working. I'm going to banish you. And then, uh, da -da, too. Fusion Destiny. Exactly what I was looking for. I guess I'll send, uh, Plasma because I have two. Wait, we can just, can't, we just, we can just win like this. So I think what I'm going to do is yeah i'm just gonna win hold on hold on hold on if, if the math checks out i win here mathematics mathematics how's the math how's the math how's the math how's the math here does it, does it check out it does not check out it does not check out it does not check out but it's okay okay and then we do this i'm literally about to kill my entire field watch this get out of here yes i almost hit no because i was in that positioning Oh, I can only do it once per turn. That sucks. Okay, so what we're going to do here is, is we'll do this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought I can activate both. I didn't realize you can only use one Destiny uh, DPE per turn. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to use the DPEs to kill them, uh, kill themselves. We'll do that. We'll do that. 
So he's gonna come back here, and now I'm gonna immediately go into the effect to kill both of them. Yes. And kill you and you. All right. Yes. All right. We should be good. We should be good right now to stop. The only issue is, is if they're able to basically get a full combo here, if they have a King's Knight in their hand, I might be screwed. Mound to the bound. That's going to be a problem. But I have Harpy's Feather Duster, which I can literally flip next turn. I should be fine. Joker straight. That always happens. Yeah, and they'll be able to get... Yeah, they can get a full combo here. And as long as they don't kill me immediately, I should be okay. Battle? Oh, well, I did not mean to... I did not mean to stop that. I think I can activate it again, maybe? Hopefully? I, <laughs> I hope so. Oh, yeah, I should have activated this. I oh, kind of no. want to... But for why, though? Slifer? So we know he has a spear mode in his hand. And, and now, if, if he also has a raw, I wouldn't be surprised. Slifer is going to be a slight problem. By the way, one of the reasons why I want to run this deck is because Joker straight, everything keeps recycling into your hand afterwards, which causes you to gain your points. So let's go ahead and summon you right now. Do I get both or do I only get one? I'm going to lose my points. But I'm going to just do this right away. Actually, I didn't even have to do that. I'm stupid. I'm actually dumb. Let's just kill this. Yes. So yeah, you only get one. So I didn't realize that DP works like that. So let's go ahead and kill Mound to the Bound. Like literally, I could have just done this and then killed... I'm actually stupid for doing that. I'm just dumb. <laughs> so because this was sent to the graveyard, they get to draw another Divine Monster in their hand. So I assume they're going to get Raw or something. So, did not know that you can only cycle. I mean, I guess that makes sense. If you could, if you could bring out two DPEs, that would be kind of broken. <laughs> kind of broken. It'd be very broken, actually. All right. I guess all I can do here is, I guess I end my turn. But in their standby phase, I can kill their Slifer, which is what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and bring you out right now. Because all I had to do was just not activate the ability. But no, I, I had to do it. Yeah, I'm going to activate this. I have to do it because I want... I, I wasn't thinking! <laughs> Let me do some math here. They Joker straight. They're going to go into, what, 16, 15, and then, like, what, 15, something like that. I don't know how the math checks out right there, but they can go immediately. In. I feel like knowing how this player is, and, you know, them running a god deck, they're going to want to bring out the, uh, the other Slifer. If they do that, I should be okay, because the way that the, the hand's going to work out is they'll be super weak. Drawn Vision here of Ferris was, was terrible. If I had, if I had Dash in my grave, I would have been fine. Oh, they're getting rid of the Slifer. Never mind. Unless they have Monster Reborn in their hand. In which case, they bring out their Knights. Math will check out there. And then they have Monster Reborn and Slifer as well. Slifer will be weak. But again, with, with three Monsters and Slifer, that's an easy win right there. So hold on. That's 3,100 right there. We pop this to get Jack's Knight. And that's 1900 so they're they're just they're just barely short that's 5,000 damage right there i'll have 100 life points but if they do have that monster reborn i just explode Ooh. oh they're gonna get monster reborn they're gonna do exactly what i said they were gonna do damn no wow what a play i'm still thinking back of the moment earlier where i could have just killed a slifer and then uh, oh you're bringing an obelisk what did obelisk go in the graveyard I'm about to get punched really, really hard. And there's nothing I can do about this. Yup, now they have... Nah, that was just gonna be overkill. But yeah, that's 1,500 life points. I can take That's not that much, you know. And you go straight... So that didn't work out the way I thought it would, but hey, at least the video is funny. At least I think. <laughs>
comment section below. Let me know uh, how I could have done that deck be uh, better. Or those setups better. Because I think I had some pretty good hands, especially in the second duel. I think. I don't know. I'm going to just end the video right here. But if you enjoy seeing uh, blind duels and want to see more in the future like this, then let me know and I'll make it happen. It doesn't even have to be with like events. I can just try building decks randomly and then play them live and see how that plays out and just see if I can navigate through it. But that also could be cringy. I don't know. Let me know down below. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you did. And then I'll see you guys uh, next time. Peace.